You came back here to fall in love with me all over again, didn't you? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 badass Catherine Pierce, Katerina Petrova moments on The Vampire Diaries. Maybe you don't know Catherine at all. Did it ever occur to you that you have no idea who I really am? Is that a trick? We can't underestimate her. We have to play this smarter than her. I want what I want, Stefan. And I don't care what I have to do to get it. For this list, we'll be looking at badass moments while Catherine was still a vampire on the supernatural teen drama. Spoilers ahead. What do you think was Catherine Pierce's best moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Catherine speaks to her doppelganger for the first time. The sneaky vampire finds herself back in Mystic Falls to cause chaos for her doppelganger after being presumed dead for over a century. Does she know that you love me? I don't. That's where you're wrong, Stefan. She's already at the Salvatore boarding house when Elena arrives to find Stefan. Instead of finding her beau, she's met with Catherine. Stefan! You must be Elena. The human doppelganger is obviously afraid and stands near motionless while her vampire counterpart examines her. Catherine says a word, but then disappears as quickly and mysteriously as she first showed up. You're asking the wrong questions. Elena! We've got to give it to her. She knows how to leave us wanting more. Number 9. Catherine Kills Caroline before coming to town, Catherine made sure she knew who the important people in her doppelganger's life were. I do know who Jenna and Jeremy are, and I've met that delicious ex-boyfriend, Matt, who's sweet on Caroline, and then there's you, the vampire-hating Bennett witch. Did I do good? So when Caroline, one of Elena's closest friends, ends up in the hospital after a car crash, she's quick to jump on the opportunity to show the Salvatore brothers she's not someone to be messed with. I was hoping you could give the Salvatore brothers a message for me. What are you talking about? What message? Game on. Immediately after meeting Caroline for the first time, she kills her in her hospital bed, knowing that she had vampire blood in her system. She dooms her to a life of vampirism without a second thought. Talk about sending a message. No rules, Stefan. Don't you remember? No rules. Number eight, Catherine links her life to Elena's. She's always been a woman with a plan, and her time in Mystic Falls is no different. Catherine manipulates her way into the masquerade ball, pretending to be Elena, and gets a message to the Salvatores with specific instructions to bring her the Moonstone. Tell Damon and Stefan that I want the Moonstone, or I will rip this town apart until it rains blood. Tell them the rest of it. Tonight. The brothers think they can pull one over on her by cornering and attacking her there. But of course, Catherine expected this and had a witch link the doppelgangers, so all harm done to one is also done to the other, basically ensuring that no one would kill her. You think you two are the only ones with a witch on your side? Wrong. And something tells me that my witch is better than your witch. Just to add insult to injury, she gives herself a large cut once everyone knows it's hurting Elena. Okay. So how about that moonstone? Number seven, Catherine feeds Silas. After losing her whole family, you might think she would have a soft spot for the family of her mirror self. You would be extremely wrong. God, I forgot what a brat you were. After spending over 500 years on the run from Klaus, she's willing to do anything to be free, including murdering Elena's younger brother, Jeremy. It's been too long, little Gilbert. <laughs> Sorry. Family reunions are gonna have to be cut short. When the group of Mystic Falls vampires go on the hunt for the immortality cure, Catherine follows closely behind and eventually joins the group, pretending to be her doppelganger. When she finds the cure being firmly grasped by Silas's desiccated hands, she feeds him Jeremy's blood to be able to pry the vial free. The girl knows how to look out for herself. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Number six, Catherine tricks Damon. Rather than being set free, stealing the cure put a huge target on the vampire's back. When Damon and Rebecca catch up to her, he thinks he can be clever by calling Catherine out for pretending that she lost the cure. The cure, it, it was in a safe, but it's not there. Uh, not falling for it. Where is the Auntie Catherine? As always though, she already had a plan. Damon thought he had found the cure and reached into a vervain filled fish tank to scoop it out. With him now in a weakened state, she uses the moment to dunk Damon's head in the tank, grab the cure, and use it as a bargaining chip to escape Rebecca. You're gonna kill me anyway. 
So what's more important to you, huh? Killing me or getting the cure? Little did they know, she had tricked them again and given them a fake cure. The cure didn't work. It worked just like she wanted it to. Number five, Catherine stabs Stefan. The vampire waltzes into Mystic Falls like a wrecking ball. Catherine first came into town in the 1800s and began a relationship with both Salvatore brothers. The smart and kind Salvatore brothers both coming to my rescue. How will I ever choose? But she was living life on the run, so she ends up giving both of them her blood, faking her death and fleeing town. She came back over a century later to earn her freedom from Klaus, but she tells Stefan she's back for him because she always loved him. You compelled me. None of my feelings were real. Believe what you want, Stefan. But I know the truth. And deep down, so do you. He responds with his true feelings for her. She retaliates by stabbing him with a lawn decoration and delivers one of her most iconic lines, claiming this is just the beginning. You hate me, huh? That sounds like the beginning of a love story, Stefan, not the end of one. Number four, Catherine escapes the tomb. The Salvatores thought she was stuck in the tomb in 1864. So when they both found out she was alive and free, they were angry. She's not here. What? She's not here! Upon her return, they wanted revenge and were able to get it. With the help of a witch, they trapped Kay in the same tomb they thought she'd been drying up in. They originally have her trapped in it with a spell, but it's the original vampire Elijah that compels her to stay when the spell is broken. You should not act until I say so. When Klaus comes, he'll want to know exactly where you are. However, Catherine, being who she is, manipulates her way out and shows up in Damon's bathroom with the most epic entrance. She's the main character of her life, and she knows it. So, I'm at that room. Number three, Catherine incapacitates a group of hybrids. Always knowing how to make a scene, she's able to bring a small army to their knees in mere seconds. Both know I could rip you to shreds and do my nails at the same time. Elena and her friends drew Klaus back into town with the supposed death of his father. But when it's revealed Michael is not actually dead, the hybrid brings out his hybrid army to threaten the original vampire. In return, Michael brings Elena out as a hostage to try to get his son to back down. If she dies, this lot will be the last of your abominations. I don't need them. I just need to be rid of you. To what end, Niklaus? So you can live forever with no one at your side? When Klaus calls his bluff, his father stabs who he thought was Elena. After faking dead, Catherine gets up and throws Wolfsbane grenades at the hybrid army, rendering them incapable of helping to defend Klaus and surprising everyone. Catherine. Oh, boom. Number two, Catherine cuts off John's fingers. She's not the type of vampire that has a problem with killing people. So it's no surprise that this is one of the first things she tries to do when she returns to Mystic Falls. There has to be a reason why Catherine tried to kill him. She's Catherine. She loves to play games and you're fooling herself. You think you're gonna find out what she's up to before she wants you to know. She shows up at the Gilbert house and is mistaken for Elena, prompting Jenna to invite her into their home. Still pretending to be her human counterpart, she strikes up a conversation with John, premeditating his murder. I'm telling you this because I hope Maybe you'd understand. Thank you. Knowing he has a magical ring that can bring him back to life, Catherine grabs a knife and chops his fingers off, then stabs him in one fell swoop, establishing herself as someone to be feared. Hello, John. Goodbye, John. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Catherine threatens to kill partygoers. She's willing to do anything to get the Moonstone from the Salvatores. Paralyzed from the waist down and dead. <coughs> the Moonstone, Stefan. Tick tock. Catherine reveals she's safe. After Stefan accuses her of manipulation, she claims the tomb will protect her from Klaus. I don't want my freedom. Because when Klaus shows up to kill us all, and he will, I'll be in the tomb where no vampire will enter because they can't get out. I'll be the safest psychotic bitch in town. Catherine pulls off Elena. After multiple failed attempts, she convinces both Salvatores that she's Elena for a moment. You think I'm Catherine? Why would you think that Catherine's in the tomb? Isn't she? Catherine snaps Elena's neck. 
When she catches up with Elena and Elijah, she snaps vampire Elena's neck. Sorry, I got held up. Catherine releases no humanity Elena. Instead of helping Elena turn her humanity back on, Catherine releases her to wreak havoc. You wouldn't last a week as a vampire without everyone fawning over you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Catherine Escapes Captivity Once back in Mystic Falls, she started pretending to be her doppelganger almost immediately. Hey, Catherine. You have to admit, I am getting better at this. After she pretends to be Elena to get into Stefan's head, he decides to inject Catherine with Vervain and chain her up in the basement. She was back in causing chaos, and he thought that he could find out why by inflicting suffering on her. Are you going to torture me now? I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you to tell me the truth. Catherine eventually revealed she wanted Stefan to stop seeing Elena and that she would kill everyone she loved to make that happen. When he attacks her for the threat, she rips out of her chains and reveals she's really the one with the upper hand. I have been sipping Vervain every single day for the last 145 years. You caught me by surprise once. I wasn't gonna let it happen again. It doesn't hurt me, Stefan. Catherine Pierce does not get fooled twice. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.